So hello everybody and welcome back and today we are back at it again with another 2D top-down shooter tutorial. Last time we covered the shooting mechanic and the enemy closing in and the enemy health system. So this time we're going to be more focused on the player health system, I guess, and some particles, sim simple particles, if I have enough time. And so to start off, we're going to have to go to the sprite that you made or the player. And you're gonna have to add a few components. So first, you're gonna have to add something like a circle collider 2D, and drag it up. And you want to put it to something like uh, we don't want we want to put this as trigger, so that we know when it collides. And then we want to go to the enemy and we want to check if it has all this. It should because last time we did the colliders and stuff, so that should work. And we want to create a new script that we want to call player. Just so want to get that done. And then you want to drag it into the player object. And let's just wait about we'll wait for a few seconds because it's not loaded. So now you want to put in the player inside the um, inspector for the player. And now you want to go to Visual Studio. Mine says to reload, so I'm going to reload it and just wait for a second. And then I'm gonna go to player. And we're gonna need a few floats. So we're going to public float health. I mean start health. And another float called current health. So at the start method, you wanna put in current health. So it's we'll start health. Similar to what we did with the enemy. But this time you want to do void on trigger enter 2d collider 2d other if other dot get com nope compare tag is enemy which we already assigned last time you want to do something like decrease its health so i'm gonna assign something like 50 to the start health and i'm gonna put something like in no float damage is equal to something like 50 not 50 that that just destroy everything like 10 i guess something like that and then maybe we don't want to put that there maybe we can hardcore it but maybe we can just do this so we can put it to public float damage and then you want to put in current health minus equal damage and that's all you need for um this if you want to check what the health is you want to put in Something like current health inside the print method or debug.log. So you can, in the console, it'll show up as whatever your health is. You want to create a void update method to check if your player still has health left. So you want to put in current health. If the current health is less than or equal to zero, you want to make it die. And we want, I'm just going to create a new method for that and add void die. You want to destroy the game object. And I'm going to put something like a note saying like add an end screen or something like that. And that should be all it takes for the health system to work. So now if you go back and then assign this, you don't have to assign the start. And then if you just click play and wait for the enemies to come in, it should start working right away. So start health is 50 and damage I'm going to put to something like 10. And I'm going to click play. I'm going to go to my scene view to check this if it's working. And I'm going to go to scene view. So an enemy has spawned and is going towards you right there. And uh, you should see that when it gets into that trigger, it's at 40 now. So it decreased by 10. Now it's 30. Now it's 20. And if that last two can just come in. 10 and 0. So that's it. And the game is pretty much over. You have to add an end screen or something. And that's it. So, and then I just realized something. And it's that, um, it, th from the shootout method, last, not the shootout method, um, from the shoot method from last time, I realized that it wasn't destroying the previous objects. Like, after you shoot the game object, it doesn't delete. So I'm going to put in game object dot instance. I'm going to put in, uh, INS and then like this and then you want to put in 
destroy INS or INS and then float T which means um, the time I'm gonna test it something like 15 or 10 I'm gonna put it to 10 this means after it's spawned 10 seconds later it'll automatically destroy and yeah that's it and over here you want to instead of just having the enemies keep spawning there you want to put in also destroy other dot game object so this time you know that when it collides the enemy will go away too so that's the player health system it's not that complicated it's similar to the enemy except it just decreases health every time just like the enemy health system and we want to work on some particles so we want to apply some simple particles effects particle effects and so we're going to create a new particle system i'll put this over here to okay so in the renderer tab you want to change the part default particle from this into the sprites default and now you can see this is small particle thing coming out and I'm gonna just drag this out a bit so it comes something like this so it's in front of the player and then over here you want you can close that now and over here I'm gonna just change the rotation of this so it comes towards us in emission you gonna put in this and count that and then rate over time zero so it looks like that just like that and then every few seconds, it'll just do this. But I feel like it's a bit fast, I guess. I'm going to decrease the size a bit. And then decrease the lifetime of this thing. And this... I like that. It's supposed to be quick. So we're going to change it to something like 0 0.1. You can just play around with these numbers. But like, that's just how it is. Maybe like 10 seconds or so it's kind of too fast still so i'm gonna put that in like one second so that that i guess i'm not a particle expert i'm not good at this particle stuff if i can just make it look like okay and if it just comes out it can be i would say it should be faster i'm gonna change something like 10 and turn this down Okay, so I'm not good at this, but like, you know. I'm gonna put it to not looping so that it doesn't loop. Like that. Just like that. And that looks pretty good to me. I think we can just use that. And you wanna just put that particle system, rename it to something like particle. Or you can just keep it if you like. And drag it in here. In here, you want to go back to your script. I'm gonna put this to my enemy, so I'm gonna put in um, a not here. I'm gonna put it to probably the shootout method. I'm thinking. This is hard. Okay, so you wanna go to the shootout method. I'm gonna just try this, I'm not sure if it'll work. But public game object, and you want to put in particle. And then over here, every time you hit it, you want to do something like um, game object particle is equal to instantiate particle, and then add tran um, other dot transform dot position and quaternion dot identity. This should make it work, and then we're gonna do the same thing we did to the shoot um, the shoot method. We're gonna put particle, destroy particle, and then after like something like one second, because it's a very short burst. And then after that, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna wait it wait for it to load. And after it does load, which is gonna take a bit bit of time for me, we wanna go to the bullet, and in here you'll see that there's a particle. I'm just gonna put that in, and that should make it work. If it doesn't, I'll try and think of something on the spot. Okay, so let's just check the bullet. Particle's there, so when an enemy gets near... Oops, I'm bad at this. 
it's like that and two particles appear you can always customize the particle as much as you want i'm not a particle expert but as as long as i can show you guys what you're supposed to do i think i'm good enough just like that particle shows up you can do the same thing to the player just add the same thing and then do the exact same code so thank you guys for watching this video um this is pretty cool to do i like to i like doing these series i'm guessing we're almost done because well we're we've pretty much covered almost everything the enemy to things like that and i guess the next thing we're gonna do is probably add something like a score counter or something just to finish off as the last episode and that should be it and that'll probably be the end of this series and yeah if you guys got it until here good job you guys can continue and doing this project i don't care if you guys use it for your own commercial proper purposes so have fun with this project um if you guys like this video though be sure to subscribe and like the video hit the bell notification to see when i upload the next video for polish and stuff which you don't have to follow if you guys haven't checked out the videos before you should definitely check it out because it just all connects and yeah that's it and we will see you in the next video so if you guys want to watch the previous video you guys can click that box on one of the corners on top of that is the subscribe button you guys can always click that and right beside the video you can see that it's um the instructions you should follow and also this video is sponsored by sip read repeat i have always i've also done this before so i'm gonna make this short and simple sip read repeat is a gaming article site where you can read awesome articles about gaming and interviews and things like that I've read a couple of articles myself, and I believe I did a small interview with them. Not I believe. I did do an interview with them a few months ago, and I did already sponsor them. Uh, they did sponsor me a few months ago, so they, they're doing a pretty good job for a starting business, so congratulations. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.